Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. And it has been brought to my attention that I need to react to two videos. Okay? They talking about the NBA 2K25 demo, you know, 2K Insider, you know, that been, you know, leaking us information for years, even behind the scenes. Okay? I knew about adrenaline bars before anyone. But apparently, you know, he's claiming he don't know nothing about the game and everything he talk about is just educated wishes. <laughs> if you know, you know. So we're gonna uh, disprove some things. I'm gonna, you know, break it down, give y'all some knowledge and let you know what you can expect in NBA 2K25. NBA 2K25 demo, all that, man. If you need your 2K education, I'm here to educate you, my boy. Y'all be sure to subscribe and like. It's free, nobody will know. But I wanna put something out there, man. I'm not a dev, right? I just want to start the video off. Just Everybody knows you're not a dev. It's it's meant to be a joke. We we know you're not sitting there coding the game and and all that. We just saying you got some influence somewhat when it comes to the game. You make them be like, hmm, you think adrenaline's a good idea? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Let me. And then they like it's like back in the day they had Red City Boy. <laughs> I'm an OG, my boy. If you know, you know. Y'all let me know if you know. They had Red City Boy. He had a little extra influence, you know? And then they had Annoying. And then now it's you. You are a part of the community. You know the things Red did to help influence the game for the worst. You know the things Annoying did to help influence the game for the worst. If you were a part of the community, man. If you know, you know. Clearly not a dev. Um, I do not know where these um, rumors started started from and i you know obviously i continue to you know i don't really engage in that type of stuff i usually just laugh at it and for, for the most part i think most people know i'm not dead like that's pretty, obvious, pretty quiet with what they do um i have no you know say in development of this game and that type of deal Cat. now i will say that rumors came out um rumors been going on for a while right about you know in individuals that test the game out early right uh -huh. and you know for the most part you know that stuff was kept on the wraps it was kept on the wraps for a while and uh -huh. um previous years yes you know i was able to you know test the game out early just like in just like a lot of creators for other games um i mean we saw the big rollout with ncaa football and you you saw tons of creators that were able to you know help with the game and and play the game early and that type uh -huh. of deal well that's no different did, did you just hear what he said help with the game you know there were early sessions in these 2k they're like helping the game 2k league guys flying out there to help you know certain creators with 2k 2k does the exact same thing um it's just that the aspect of testing the game and stuff like that that part is kept under wraps um it's not a public thing um, uh -huh. i don't know maybe eventually that might be something that they'll do but um at the end of the day you know that is a private thing until um last year with 2k tv if y'all remember 2k tv dropped a um i hear what he's saying private play testing things right so when they give their feedback you don't think they're helping influence the game i remember talking to statistics right and even you right and i got multiple calls recorded okay three hours okay talking to uncle demi about before 2k23 came out and i think some other time it has to do with gameplay before anyone knows he told me adrenaline bars were coming out guys okay so if y'all think he don't be knowing some stuff and he be saying this and that and leaking this and that you're lost i've been telling bro it's just like in the beginning of 2k24 he was basically telling you the takeover that was coming out before it came out of course he has to say oh like these are just my thoughts you know he's putting ideas out there he's the you know he's throwing he's seeing how the community reacts why do you think all the views jump on your shit? it's the new stuff no you got some some of the information you got low-key saying what's going on bro he was in the spaces with uncle demi you literally hear him talking about stuff that's literally in 2k24 about the adrenaline y'all remember look see i ain't even listened to the whole video yet but y'all remember about the adrenaline he was saying you're not gonna lose your boost anymore just going one way come to play the game come on guys that was not in no you know he was telling us this before stuff even happened and news got released it's documented bro <laughs> you feel me <laughs> it's documented i don't even know why he would come out and say this maybe so like 2k don't get mad at him but when you want like the extra attention on your tweets and your youtube videos everyone's basically shouting you out i mean they they juicing your channel crazy every year like you know just use your head guy iq iq man you know obviously people are like, oh well you're playing the game early so you must have like an absolute say which is ridiculous right just because you test the game doesn't mean that you have an absolute say in that bro no one's saying you got an absolute say you got an influence dog you feel me people are saying you got like an influence even though if they don't listen to you Sometimes, like, they consider what you're saying more than, like, average people. What's the whole point of the next makers, guys? So, 
I mean, like you, y'all, you like discrediting like the next makers. I mean, I don't understand. But I mean, like the head of the next makers is different. It's like, it's like, why would he be getting people's phone numbers and stuff like that to talk to them about the game and this and that? If he wasn't like involved more than like the average person, like he's really getting creators' phone numbers to like keep them calm about you know roasting the game and stuff. That's like, you know, like. What do y'all think? Let me know. You can give your thoughts, you can give your opinions, and of course, you know, those can be implemented or they cannot be implemented, right? You have to understand there's tons of people that are gonna have different opinions about once. And you get to give them lists and stuff, you know? I remember you you telling me, hey, tell me some stuff, this and that, what do you want, da 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 da. You, you know, a lot of creators and stuff, like you saying this and that. I got a direct thing with the devs, a lot of us do, but you know, they, they take yours a little more serious. That's why you're in your position, right? topic okay so that can easily mean that either the dev team can agree with you or they can agree with somebody else or they can just stick with their original thought process of you know this is what we had in game reason we're gonna stick with that we think that's better right and again there's no right or wrong answer here because when you're dealing with numerous play styles numerous personalities tons and tons of different game modes nobody's gonna agree on the same thing right so 2k has a huge 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 formula to try to figure out hey what should we do with this aspect okay so i just want to put that out there and another thing is that obviously being um a next maker now you haven't heard, heard much about next makers in a while because that program i'm not even sure what direction that program's going but regardless the next makers put me in a situation again because i was a leader of the next makers you know people thought that again that is a partner hey i'm not gonna hold you demi and uh Lee Lee girl, I think they was head of the next makers. They've been tweeting a little uh extra like against 2K, I, you know. So I knew something had to happen. You know, they probably feeling like they not really getting utilized like that. So it seemed like they speaking out more. Y'all y'all let me know what y'all think, you know? And but for some reason, you know, hey, he's testing out the game early. He's a leader of the next makers, you know, he's at community days, you know, he's at this, he's at that. So now it's like for some shape or form, it just got to this whole thing of you know, Uncle Demi knows stuff and he is going to be, you know, the key source for leaks and all that type stuff. So, you know, I was looking Listen at what um, he's saying. Twitter <laughs> and I replied, I was reply, I uh, retweeted LeBron James absolutely stonewalling, right? Um, a player from Serbia trying to back him down. Like, I don't even know. I, I guess he didn't do his research. I guess he didn't know that, you know, LeBron James is a grown man. You know, he is 40 years old, but he is still absolutely in the best shape of 99.9% .9 of the NBA. And people say LeBron's still not top 10 in the league current. There's a reason Team USA is deferring to him. Players, and he just could not move him down at all. It was absolutely hilarious. So then I retweeted and said, Immovable Enforcer on Platinum, <laughs> right? Which I thought was a funny joke, right? I thought it was a joke. But, you know, my man Joey was like, yo, Uncle Demi confirms Platinum badges. Oh, damn, Joey. Wait, wait. See, if y'all didn't know, the leak, 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 leak. That, that's pretty good. But um, I wouldn't have said this. I wouldn't have think this, you know, when people say certain things, you know, that that's when I'll be like, hey, look, you know, it could, it could, you know, but this, I wouldn't think that platinum badges are coming out. Come on, man. But you could clearly tell Joey's, Joey. I don't think he thinks this either. On NBA 2K25, leak, 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 right? I'm just like, all right, Batman. So then um, another guy, again, replying back to it, say 2K smiling and, grind, um, and grinning right now, waiting to reveal the new badge levels, platinum brick wall screens and platinum pick Nobody dodger, finna so. get dangerous, all right? Now, this is the thing. I know they're joking, right? I know they're, they're joking. joking. But a lot of people in my comment sections really be thinking, like, have something to do with it as a dev. So as I started to, you know, look at, um, YouTube, there's tons and tons of creators that literally, when when I say something, they uh -huh. take it as Bible. Now, I'm not going to put their videos up, but I'm like, yo, like, people genuinely think that I'm a dev. Like, you got to. Nobody thinks you're a dev, Demi. And if y'all don't think he been leaking stuff, guys, you can go look at the videos and the spaces of the stuff that I dropped, bro, and you can see it happen in 2K24. Everybody knows. There's a reason he's getting juiced. Right, right in the cycle. Everybody knows. Like, come on, guys. Come on, they gotta be some type of level of like IQ here, bro. Like, come on, man. I'm not I'm not a dev. Like, you know, Everyone I don't know stuff about the two, um, 2K25 game. Like, I think a lot of people yes, think that I just do. know. No, I don't. Like, I'm literally, you know, uh, a content creator that works with 2K for certain events or, you know, for whatever that they have for other creators too. There's tons of creators. I'm no different than all the other creators that guys he knows nothing about 2K25, but he told me about adrenaline coming out. Before it was gonna come out, he told me about quick drops getting removed before it was gonna happen. Apparently, he just he doesn't know nothing, guys. I'll let me know what y'all think, man.
that are doing things. It's just that I had a title of leader for the next makers. And at one point in time, yeah, next makers was moving and shaking, going and doing things. But now it just seems like that just is like just stonewall dead in the water. So, mm. you know, there was no benefit, um, you know, outside of just what other mm. creators were getting to, right? So when I see the videos and I'm like, people like, you know, yo, like it looks like this, it looks like that. I'm just literally giving my opinions of what I think the game should be or, you know, or how 25 should be. But the things that I'm, those are educated guesses or um, just my educated wishes. When, when us creators make uh, videos about what you're saying, we're not saying everything that you're saying is going to be a fact. It's really inside the mind of how you think and what you're telling the devs. And that could have an influence on the game. That's what we're saying. Then we saying sometimes you throw out ideas of something that's coming in a 2K that you know that you probably talked about with them. No, it's all just it's all just speculation. We say that, you know, we always say it's speculation. You no, know, maybe with some things, but I'm pretty sure everybody's saying like it's speculation. Opinions, and there's no way, shape, or form for me knowing if that's actually going to happen or not. But one thing I wanted to do was just clear it up and just be like, listen, guys, like, you know, I appreciate, you know, the flattery of, you know, what people. Guys, think about this. This is a grown man with a master's degree, right? Why would he want to say that? The things here are talking about couldn't possibly be a thing. Wouldn't that make people like not watch as much and not think this and that? And then it's not smart. Give me smart guys, right? He's a smart guy. Why would he say something that's going to like get him less views? That doesn't make sense. I'm just saying. People think as far as my position or how I am in this community. I know my voice is very loud in this community, right? And, and again, that comes with positive and negatives. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of stuff that I'm a grown man. Like I can take the heat. I can take the criticisms. I know when 2K24 came out, there was a lot of like, you know, backlash for my opinions, but I'm never going to not give my opinion. And then I think he said he was like going on a revenge tour with 2K24 or something. Like why, why were you going on a revenge tour? Like you didn't know nothing. Like the stuff you was hyping up, you was saying like you knew like this and this and this was happening. And you was like going on a revenge tour to try to like prove like what you was talking about. If you didn't really know, and play the game and this and that, like, why would you think about it, guys? You know, that uh, the community might disagree with me. I look at it from an educated aspect. And even if it might be crazy, understanding that this is how it is in business, right? So I kind of always put that type of spin on it. So I'm going to just not going to sit there and just give out opinions or go with the majority when the majority, just because you're the loudest doesn't make you the right, right? You know what I'm saying? So I just want to clear this all up, man. I mean, you're not right about most of the things you say. You're a new 2K player don't know you started playing 2k online late you don't know you agree with the people who are the worst at the game those are usually the people that are the wrongest they don't understand the gameplay they have no point of reference of the golden era you have no point of reference so your opinion is your thoughts are all you don't know your past you can't understand your future so i mean you should try to listen to people who really played the golden era the most beloved 2ks and really trying to get an idea of what they're talking about if you want to have a more valid you no know, thought process Hey man, keep thinking you're right. Y'all let me know if y'all think uh, Gimme has no impact on the game. Oh. But is no creator voice big enough to change and impact the game? I want to repeat that. There is no creator in the 2K community voice that is that impactful that's going to change the process of a game. Guys, it's, it's as simple as this. Say I say something. Say I want something a certain way, right? Then I get a bunch of other people to agree or say something. They see that, right? Then they make the choice. It's their their choice at the end, right? But based on who they are and who they see and agree and all this and that, you have an influence. It's just like, it's just like the Sim Nation little community. They have an influence for like how things are. You have influences in life. Everyone has like an influence. It's like a struggle. There's a reason everyone get all active on Twitter and everyone starts arguing because they know people are watching and they know the devs are making choices. There's a reason people get on Twitter doing this and that. Guys, it's like a it's like a little power struggle, <laughs> you know? It's a reason. <laughs> like, think about it, man. Why aren't there demos anymore? And why demo, you know? There are still a lot of demos for a lot of games, at least with companies that got integrity, that don't have a monopoly over their system. There's a lot of demo. I don't I don't really know what it's talking about. There's definitely a lot of demos. 2K's not doing it now. I'll tell you right now why it is. It's because of the 2K logos. They just fly them out. They basically buy their opinion. They wine and dine them. So then you get a biased, you know, first hands look instead of everyone getting the game and giving their honest opinion. So instead of them making like a valid product, they can put out a trash product, give it to these creators that are just happy to be there. Don't have no money, no nothing, you know, haven't achieved much in life. And they're just going to double twist the game. So 
y'all as viewers you gotta understand bro those logo guys they're against you they're the reason you don't get a demo they're the reason you don't get to test the game they're the reason issues aren't fixed before the game even comes out because you know when we get the game you know we we talented you know it's not just certain creators and we gonna figure out the sauce and it's gonna be able to get patched you know we used to have access to the builder things could have got fixed all this and that for you know your builds before the game comes out that's a better experience for you that's why y'all gotta be more y'all gotta give more to the logo all the creators going out all that stuff because it's against you that existing is against you bro it's the reason vc prices can't get lower it's the reason a lot of the things can't get fixed in the game because half of the creators that got the juice they not gonna really go at 2k with their real authentic opinions and what their viewers feel because they want the ties with the company you know it's the carrot stick man you know you keep giving me this or promises of this i ain't gonna say this and that but if there was no 2k logo program this game would look completely different. i guarantee you builds would be cheaper everything would be cheaper the gameplay would be better but since we got these protectors that have influence over some of the viewers too it's like a war y'all know like games that come out like real top good games they give you demos and stuff guys like they're they're trying to earn your dollar now they're just finessing us they ain't even put out nothing guys. buddy said in my comments trying to get someone to buy something without actually seeing what they're buying is a con older than the decoration independent you know they wait until last minute and the game gonna come out broken again like full court shots guys if the game came out to the public and we got to test it and stuff like that they could have had a fix way before instead of the game and we're bl we're playing a beta a beta this is why like you know i'd be you know against like the the whole 2k logo situation and community day because i'm trying to play a more complete game so i can have more fun and y'all can have for more fun instead of getting annoyed quitting the game and all this and that like come on bro it's the first 2k people shooting full court shots what's going on <laughs> The PC market really impacts the console market. And now like, we'll talk about it as we go, but it says there's so many games receiving some degree of crown crowd. A lot of those PC games, there's like hella demos and early accesses. Like, wouldn't that count as like a demo? Remember Call of Duty, you had this and that. Marvel Rivals, they got something going on. Like you get codes to play it early. So I get I don't I don't I don't know if you talk about demo, beta, it's all in the same category for me. And it says so many games spend a good chunk of their time in early access, giving audiences a chance to play the game. The pre-order bonus culture and buying a game for full price at retail is how developers make money. And if a demo is crap, chances are the final game will be too. Uh -huh. And when I saw that part, I was like, bruh, that makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Now we don't know the numbers. That on games but there, there comes a point when your consumers just get very unhappy you know i mean if you really think about it like for instance when the game comes out people are going to mess up on their builds way more than usual but that gives 2k more money guess what that consumers over time he's going to get mad and just stop fucking with you right little glitches crazy play exploits things that could have been fixed are now being fixed during the game that starts to make your customer unhappy that's why there's so much hate for the game bro people feel cheated they they spend all this money they feel cheated they feel like they playing a beta you can't do this in a game where it's hunted a build bro and then you gotta buy the game it's not even free to play it's crazy bro. This is why majority of NBA fans roast 2K. Not just comp and talented players, man. You know, most casuals. Read the comments. Read the comments. This is not a good strategy, like, long term, bro. And then y'all are getting creators a lot of hate because they not telling the real about the game that they play. You know, a lot of people that be going out there, they be telling me about the game. When they come back, they be like, bro, it's so slow. I've never played a 2K this slow. It's so clunky. It's horrible, but they don't tell the public that. They say it's bad. And also, I'm hard heartbroken before the game even come out i'm like not again no i don't know man it's it's not smart man i'm being pre-ordered but i know because if the demo is crap chances are the final game will be too let's just keep it a stack if there was a demo and it was horrendous a lot of people will back off right a lot of people will back off on that and those big publishing companies don't want it they don't want to risk that no more they, they put so much time and effort to make a game they are going to make sure they do this route and that's why i think the reason why we don't have a demo for 2k25 and we don't have demos anymore yeah but it's, it's it's not smart man i mean people aren't stupid bro oh not spending your money testing out the game versus spending your money and then all that happening over time you're gonna see a bigger drop 
playing with a lot of AIs in the rack. People getting tired of this. I to tell you, people messing up their builds and stuff. It's, it's not cool, bro. There were like other basketball games that were somewhat decent. 2K would notice it way, way more. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.